Hello everyone, this is El Shaddai's Amazing Grace, also known as God's Amazing Grace, and this prayer is to destroy the strongholds of stagnation and delay in your life. When you are stagnant or when you are going through delay in your life, it's because you are unfruitful, you're barren, you're empty, you're unseen, and because of this, nothing can accumulate in your life. For you to accumulate good things, for you to move forward in your life so that you are not stagnant and so that delay is cancelled, you need the seed of God's word. For it reads in Hebrews chapter 4 verses 12, For the word of God is quick and powerful. The seed of God's word was in the beginning in Genesis chapter 1 verses 3. And God said, let there be light and there was light. There is power in God's word. So when you plant God's word in your life, you begin to grow in the plans God has for you to give you hope, a prosperous future, and for this to be permanent. As it reads in Isaiah chapter 40 verses 8, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God will stand forever. When we read Luke chapter 8 verses 8, this is when Jesus was speaking in parables. Jesus said, Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than was sown. When we skip to 11, it says, This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. When we skip to 15, it says, But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart, and hear the word, retain it, and preserve and produce a good crop. This means that when you live a righteous life, your foundation and your soil is good. And because of this, once you then plant in the seed, which is the word of God, in your soil, in your foundation, everything in your life will then become good. And this is because your soil and your foundation is in the hands of the Lord. And because of this, every crop, which is representation of every area in your life, will then begin to grow. Whether it is your business, whether it's your education, whether it is your marriage, anything in your life will then become growth, which will bring prosperity and which will allow you to prosper and have that good future God has promised for you. And this will now happen because you are now bearing good fruit. As it reads in Matthew chapter 7 verse 17, every good tree bears good fruit but a bad tree bears bad fruit and as it also reads in john chapter 15 verses 2 he cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful this means that the work of the enemy being planted in your life will never stand because God does not mix good with bad, neither does God's word grow on lies, meaning that the enemy's plan to do anything to you will never prevail. So right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the seed of God's word as we are praying come into your life so that you can begin to walk in God's power, so that you can begin to walk in God's miracles, so that the favor of God can come upon you because you are a child of the living God. You see, God wants you to progress in life. God does not want you to stay in one place. That is not the plan of God in your life. For as we read Deuteronomy chapter 1 verses 8, it says, See, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land. The Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and to their descendants after them. The enemy does not want you to progress. This is why the enemy will fight you. When we read 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8, it says, Be sober and alert. Your enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion, is on the prowl looking for someone to devour. You see, the enemy knows the word of God is truth. And in the word of God, it clearly says that the plans God has for us is to prosper us and not to harm us. So the enemy will fight us because the enemy doesn't want us to receive the goodness from God. So when you sow the seed of God's word in your life, everything will come to pass because everything of God's word is truth. The heaven and the earth might go, but God's word will always stand. Meaning that if God is saying that you are going to become whatever is going to make you prosperous, it will come to pass. And by fire, by force, whatever God has for us, we're walking into it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So right now we are going into prayer and as we are going to prayer, if you agree with everything I am saying at the sound of my voice, everything will manifest because when we read Matthew chapter 18 verses 19, it says, again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. 
Our Almighty God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the head and not the tail in heaven. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. Hallowed be thy name. You are mighty and you reign in power. God, I'm excited for the day to come when all rebellion is destroyed and your reputation is vindicated so that the world will see that you are the one God whose name is above all. Forgive us for our sins and may the blood of Jesus wash me and whoever is listening in agreement to this prayer so that our prayer is not hindered by sin. I clothe myself spiritually with the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the shoes of readiness that come from the gospel of peace. And I gird up the lines of my mind, for we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with the powers of darkness in the supernatural sphere. May the blood of Jesus be a hedge around my soul, mind and spirit for protection. And to anyone listening who is in agreement to this prayer, I take my authority given to me, fire by force to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me or anybody else who is listening in agreement to this prayer. For if God is with us, nothing can be against us. As it is written in Psalms 91 11, we have been given our Father's angels from heaven to accompany us, to defend us, to preserve us in all of our ways of obedience and service. So right now, I call upon the thousands upon the thousands upon 10,000 times 10,000 of angels to come to our defense, to join us in this spiritual battle against principalities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As it reads in Mark chapter 3 verses 27, in fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. So right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every strong man, every stronghold, every evil spirit, every evil power in conjunction with delay, limitation or stagnation, I come against you and I tie you, I bind you with the blood of Jesus so that your devices, your networks cannot work against me or anybody else who's in agreement of this prayer right now in Jesus name. Any evil bullet that has been shot in the air to bring delay, limitation, stagnation, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I call upon the angel in Isaiah chapter 37 verses 36 who struck down 185,000 in the cap to come now, right now and strike and defuse every evil bullet that has been shot to us, the children of God, right now in Jesus name. Every demonic seed the enemy has planted in our lives, whether it is in our business, whether it is in our destiny, whether it is in our marriage, whether it is in our education, or anything the Almighty God has put up for us, right now I call upon the fire of God to roast up these seeds because we serve the living God and the living God is a consuming fire. Every good and perfect gift the Almighty God has given to us for us to prosper and the enemy has locked it away, I call upon the angels from Acts chapter 5 verses 19 who open up prison gates to come down right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and open up every prison gate that is holding up the gifts that almighty God has given to us open up those gates now holy angels and bring us back our gifts so that we can prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every evil arrow shot to our feet to slow us down as it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 7 they will come at you from one direction but flee from you in seven right now every evil arrow shot to our feet may you flee in seven may you scatter in seven right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Scatter in Jesus' name, scatter in Jesus' name, scatter in Jesus' name. Every war of Jericho that is surrounding us, the children of God, said so that we're in one spot. I speak to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I call upon the hammer of God to break you down. Break in Jesus' name, break in Jesus' name. You this useless, pathetic, strong man, I have bind you to the blood of Jesus that is responsible for stealing the children of God's finances and instead you're making them borrow, borrow, borrow with your evil power. Hey, today I come against you with the blood of Jesus and I diffuse your power and I diffuse you as well with the word of God. For it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 12 that they shall lend to many nations but borrow from none. So right now, all of the finances you stole from them, may they receive their money back now in Jesus' name. Children of God, receive your money back. Receive Receive your money back. Receive your money back. Today is your ending of burn in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You demonic dark veil that is covering the talents that God has given to us in our lives so that we can progress. I come against you with the word of God. But it says in Genesis chapter 1 verses 4, it says that God separated light from darkness. It also says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 5, it says that we are the children of light and the children of day and we do not belong to night or darkness. So right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as the word of God is sharpening the two double edged sword, I separate you with the word of God. I separate you darkness. Move away from us right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In 
as it reads in Psalm 119 verses 105, it says, your word is a lamp to my feet, a light on my path. And also, Father God, it said that in Genesis chapter 1 verses 4, it says that when you brought out the light, you saw that the light was good. So I now decree and declare, with all this light around me, I know that my life is good. And I decree and declare for anyone who's in agreement of this prayer, that your life is good too, because we are all walking in the light of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I uproot every Jesus. demonic tree that has been planted in our lives for us not to progress. Jesus. The same way it says in Matthew chapter 21 Jesus. verses 19, Jesus said, may you never bear fruit again. Any demonic tree that has been planted, may you never bear any of your wicked fruit in our lives right now in Jesus name. And I uproot you right from your roots in Jesus name. As it reads in Exodus chapter 23 verse 20, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you to that place I prepared. So right now in Jesus name, any spirit, any evil power that is trying to bring backwardness in our lives, I cancel it with the blood of Jesus and I command our feet to move forward so that we can go into the place that Almighty God has prepared for us in Jesus name. Any demonic prayer, evil, wicked prayer that is being made against us, children of God, so that we do not progress in life. I cancel every single word in that prayer right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. Any monitoring spirit that is watching our progression in life, waiting to strike so that they can bring us down. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I stretch out my hands and as I stretch out my hands, may darkness be filled upon their eyes. The same darkness when Moses stretched out his hands in the sky and Egypt became dark right now in Jesus name. May darkness come upon these monitoring spirits eyes so they cannot see our progression, so they cannot see what the almighty God has for us. May they be permanently blinded right now in Jesus name. Any familiar spirits that is trying to settle in our lives as children of God to try and bring destruction and delay right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I flood you out. I flush you out right now with the blood of Jesus. Be God, you familiar spirits. This is not a place for you to settle. This is the place of the Almighty God. Jesus Christ lives in us. So you have no place here. We have no seat here. Get out of our lives right in Jesus' name. And I counsel every one of your demonic plans against our lives right now in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Any agent of the devil posing to be a prophet, posing to be a pastor, posing to be a good friend, right now I come against you the blood of Jesus. I cancel all of your ways and whatever spirit you're using to monitor us, whatever spirit you're using to do your evil works around us, right now I diffuse all of that of the blood of Jesus and I call upon the Almighty God to draw you out for it says in Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 12, the Lord our God will drive those nations out before us. So right now be drawn away in Jesus name. Any evil altar that is fighting us, the children of God, in our progression in our life, right now I call upon the fire of God to go to those evil altars and consume them by fire and scatter them into pieces right now in Jesus' name. You evil altar that is coming against us, I break you into pieces. May the fire of God burn and destroy your ways. May the blood of Jesus diffuse your power now in Jesus' name. I prophesy into your life right now with the word of God as it says in Joel chapter 2 verses 23. Be glad, O children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord your God for he has given the early rain for your vindication he has poured down for your abundant rain the early and the latter rain as before right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive the abundance in your progression receive the abundant rain coming down receive that rain may you be showered with the rain of abundance in your life may you progress right now in Jesus name and as it says again in the word of God in Psalm 107 verse 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all their destructions any destruction that was in your life anything that needed healing in your life for you to progress for you to move forward right now receive that word of God and be healed be delivered and progress right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Father God, for your word. Your word that has been our seed in our life and our foundation and our soil. Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to progress. Thank you for diffusing every work of the enemy. Thank you, Father God, that we are free. Thank you, Father God, for lifting us up. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Our futures are looking great. Our futures are looking bright. And it's all because of you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. How 
Shaddai is your name. Elohim is your name. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I give you the praise. I'm so grateful. We are so grateful for what you're doing in our lives. We are so grateful, Father God. Oh, wonderful, glorious God. You never fail us. You always lift us up. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And all shall say, Amen. So we have now reached the end of the prayer. And the one thing I'll leave you all with is in Colossians chapter 2 verses 7. It says, plant your roots in Christ and let him be the foundation for your life. Be strong in faith just as you were taught and be grateful. So that's the message I'm leaving with you from the word of God. And once again, have a great day and stay blessed.